Uh, we're going to be hunting for Brute Bonnet today. Shiny Brute Bonnet down in Area Zero. It's the last of the shiny past paradox forms that I need, and I'm excited to hunt it. But first, got to get off my riding Pokemon, because yet again, I'm not allowed to do anything while I'm riding on a Pokemon. So I know I need Cucumber and Pickle, but for the Grass-type Sandwich, I need a lot of Lettuce. And I'm unsure how this is going to work, because I've never actually used Lettuce on a Sandwich here. And hopefully this Lettuce is floppy and wants to do nothing but flop and not oh my god fall over it falls over really easily what is going on here and why can't i pick it up um this sucks oh my god this is the worst to deal with and i still have more i've already lost some i'm resetting why everything in this game why all the sandwich toppings in this game act like they are made of hard plastic like the kind of thing that like you'd get in in a, a, a play set when you were a kid or something like that. I don't know. All right, all right. I've got one set of lettuce. I just need to do that like three more times. Oh no, this went terribly. Oh lordy. Oh no. Oh god. Oh, it just went terribly. <sighs> all right, all right. Last time. Last try. Third time's a charm. All right, lettuce is going all the way over here. All the way ass over there. And then we're going to do a little bit of middle lettuce. We have some middle lettuce here. Don't do it to me. Oh, wants to do it to me. Oh, my God. Oh, that lettuce didn't go well. Now I just have to do my three pickles. Last one. I did it. Oh, my God. Who wants this much lettuce on a sandwich? This is like the amount of lettuce that Subway gives you on a sandwich. You go to Subway... And you ask for, I always ask for just like a little lettuce. Can I just have a little lettuce on that sandwich? Because I know if I say I want lettuce, they're going to take their big ass hand, put it all up in the lettuce, and grab the biggest chunk of lettuce that you ever saw, and and that's the entire filling to your sandwich. And it's the worst sandwich ever. All right, I got it all. And it's time to start. Uh, Jonas, what is my opinion on Brute Bonnet? Uh, I actually didn't like it at first. I did not like it at first until I saw that it had a dinosaur tail and then I'm like all 100% for it again all brute bonded all the time all right cowabunga dudes and we're just going around there's nothing but brute bonnet down here so all I have to do is find the one that's blue there's a spot where you can find a whole bunch of Pokemon on a big rock I've heard of this spot um next to some giant crystal or something and it do I want to do that is that fun for me? No. But I have heard of Big Rock. I'll, I'll, I'll go down to Big Rock, because I think I know where Big Rock is. Is this down here? I think this is Big Rock. All right, I'm going to go to Big Rock just to say that I went to Big Rock. All right. And uh, and I'm never going to go to Big Rock again. They just have to, like, wait here and stuff. And then and then you go over here. And it's all like, all right, everything despawned. And then you go back. It's like, all right, it was all spawning again. Nah, uh, dude, this ain't for me. This is not for me. We're going back. Uh, hopefully, uh, this will be a very successful shiny hunt. I need this to be a successful shiny hunt because I do not want to make another lettuce-based sandwich ever again because that was awful. Oh, hey, there's uh, one of these Amoongus up in, up in the wall here. Oh man, he's he's way far gone in there. The number of Pokemon that actually spawn up in walls in this game is insane. B, I think I did end up counting White Baskill, and yes, uh, unfortunately. <laughs> it just looked too much like a regional form to me. Um, So the short answer is yes. Oh god damn it, are you kidding me? Three different brute bonnets have like sidled up to me at the last minute here. Don't do it a fourth time. Oh, fuck my life. <laughs> what is going on? I've lost all control. Jesus Christ. That was mental. Jonas, I definitely like overworld hunting a lot. Uh, I like seeing Pokemon in the overworld. It gives me a real kick. I will say it seems a little on the easy side, but 
you really are not going to see me complaining on uh, about that kind of thing. Uh, uh, the only thing I'll say is that I think that the game needed to give you a little encounter immunity after you get out of a battle. Uh, because if it did that, then we wouldn't have this chain of battles that happen when Pokemon continuously attack you. I don't think anybody likes that. I think it's universally annoying to everybody. All you have to do is give a little bit of contact immunity after a battle, and, and this would work perfectly. But they didn't think about that. Especially because the game kind of forces you, or your character, or you on your riding Pokemon into a different position. She than you were before the battle started, and that is, that is part of the problem. I missed it! Well, god damn it! I don't want to make a lettuce sandwich again! Oh, I don't have much sandwich left either. Oh, that was the one, guys. That was the only one. I'm gonna have to make another lettuce sandwich, but I don't want to! And it's going, it's going to keep happening, because these Pokemon can spawn in walls, they can spawn behind me, they can spawn all over the place, man. But I'm supposed to be the eagle-eyed shiny hunter here. I'm supposed to be better than that. And clearly I'm not... <laughs> just bad at it. But at the same time, I'm not gonna beat myself up too much about it. Because it is very difficult to hunt using this uh, method here. Oh, that's it. The sandwich is over. I've lost the sandwich. Let's, uh, let's try a, a salty one. Lettuce. Cool. Salty. Sour. Next. I don't have that much salty Herba Mystica. So, like, I don't... I don't think that, uh, I can really do this that often. I thought the last sandwich was bad. This is only just... Instead of a lot of lettuce, a little lettuce, and nothing else on it. I don't think my character likes the sandwich at all. I'm salty and sour? Are you kidding me? Let's see what I got. Um, sparkling power, tidal power, and counter power, grass. Well, that was much easier. Herbal, is there a new Mewtwo model that I don't know about? I knew about the new Charizard model, and it looks, uh, it looks great, honestly. Um, the Mewtwo model I did not know about. Uh, I hope it also looks good. Oh yeah, you, there's uh, another Pokemon that received the new model. S-tier model that nobody's talking about. Persian. Persian got a new model. And it's way better than it used to be. And now it actually looks elegant. Yeah, some Pokemon do have new battle poses. Stantler is one that stood out to me. I saw Stantler's new battle pose, and I'm like, wow, they, they kind of... They fixed Stantler. Amazing. Does Typhlosion have a new one? I didn't know Typhlosion was in this game. They made it look good? Oh, I need to see it. I mean, Typhlosion always had the ability to look good. It, 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 it's just that they gave it a boring pose before. Do future Pokemon now have sleep animations? Can they have sleep animations? Their face is like a, uh, just like a screen. I can't blame them for not having sleep animations. No. Hmm. I'd like to see the new Typhlosion if somebody has a- Oh! 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 I think I found... A shiny bonnet! That didn't take too long, and I recognized it this time. Ha <laughs> ha! See? Much better! Oh lord! Oh, it looks so good. I can't believe I, I missed it the first time, but I, I kinda can, cause... And honestly, it blended in with the overworld just a little bit in a way I wasn't expecting. Um, so I'm happy that I reclaimed it so quickly. I'm sad that I missed it the first time, but it worked out in the end, and I caught it right away, so... <sighs> no pain, no gain, I guess. Let's throw this thing up on the big screen here. See what it looks like. Um, this time it was just looking at me, so I'm much happier with that. Uh, but it looks good. I love the kind of bluish, uh, almost it's so blue that it's purple kind of color. I can't really tell what that, what you would call that color. Violet, maybe? Um, fantastic. Yeah, this is my last. My last of the past paradoxes, the ancient paradox Pokemon. So I'm really, truly happy to be done with this kind of chapter in the shiny decks. But uh, a lot more to do. Um, so, uh... We're going to check out the nature real quick and see if it has a mark. Let's check that summary, see what we got. 
Uh, no mark and gentle nature. Regardless, it looks nice. It it, it does. I'm happy to have it. I like its, it's weird little dinosaur tail. Um, but guys, I guess if you're watching this on the YouTube, this is the end of the video. Uh, oh, it came with the booster energy, which I did not realize. Uh, so that's cool. Uh, regardless, if you like this video and want to see more, uh, please subscribe to this channel. And if you like to uh, see this live on Twitch, we do this every weekend at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. But until next time, guys, as always, we are going to see you on the next Shiny.